here we go. This is episode six now. And you're going to see a lot more of the build in this one. You've got loads of, sort of painting and new parts from Japan. And all sorts of turning up. And the stickers. So you're going to find out the livery in this episode. And yeah, so it's almost final form. So I'll do one more video once it's finished and um, we'll do a you know proper little walk around video of it outside and do some little flybys and stuff like that like I did last time. But yeah, enjoy. So my split covers come back from the uh, powder coat. Pretty good, kind of white and glossy. It's not absolute perfection because the uh, base covers weren't absolute perfection. A couple of little marks here and there. Yeah, not too fussed about that. Yeah, I like it. Nice and glossy and white. And the Honda still stands out. I'm not going to paint the Honda green. It's a bit, a bit cheesy for this. I just leave it as it is. You can see it quite well anyway. So I've just got to find the uh, bolt that goes in there. Apparently my Jack's got uh, something that can... Got one of the original bolts. It's like a little rubber insert or something that goes in there. So, uh, looks so much better. So cool. And even the, the JVM kickstart, kick, uh, yeah, kickstart is, uh, this bit's actually shorter and it doesn't have that ugly rubber cover that goes over it. It's a little bit harder to kick because it's a bit shorter. And it's, I use this to actually move the scooter about when it's uh, stationary. So I can slide it, but and it's a lot harder to move it around and lift it up with this because it's a bit shorter. But but yeah, looks so much better than this uh, disgusting thing. <laughs> yeah, this is why you need to use petrol resistant lacquer. And also, I found out that uh, powder coat is actually uh, chemical resistant, so it's uh, yeah, I don't need to. Still a bit busy here. Yeah? But there's been some progress, so now the panels are off at the painters. So uh, just uh, still got these spare panels that are a bit mashed up. Like bits missing down here, and the tabs are broken. So these are just probably just going to go in the bin. Or I can I can what I'm going to probably do is take the vents out and uh, use the vents up on the next panels. But uh, yeah, had a few more deliveries today, and. Uh, First of all, got this um, Garage's uh, Honda basket. So it's obviously for the uh, special edition. That's why it's uh, pink. <laughs> it's quite a nice pink though, especially the paint that's not been really too sun damaged. But yeah, look, all the paint's pretty old. It needs a proper, uh, it's gonna get dipped and then it will get well, blasted and then it will get powder coated. So uh, yeah, so that'll, that'll go white because I'm not sure the uh, pink's going to go well with the green. Pink and green should never be seen. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, so I might get a uh, Krispy Kreme logo to put on there, and obviously a couple of boxes of Krispy Kremes in the back and the front <laughs> will be the perfect little touch. But we'll see. See what it looks like because I'm not overly sold on baskets. But I've been looking for one, and this one came up relatively cheap. So I thought I'd bring, bring it in with a set of wheels. So it doesn't owe me too much. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much to get a powder coated. A little bit fiddly for the guy to blast, I guess, though. But yeah, we'll see. Finally, my uh, new tyres can go on something. So the, uh, the wheels are here now. So they're literally just the standard wheels. What I've already got, but... They're so much nicer in the uh, in the gloss white. They look so much fresher. These uh, these grey ones are just just a bit meh, and uh, they're just like a badly spray painted. Just a quick job just to tidy it up for a show. But now they're going to be nice and shiny, like the rest of the uh, paintwork should be. And also the front brake um, drum brake assembly. Has also been painted as well, which it came with some brake shoes in it. But yeah, so that's quite cool. Should freshen up the front end quite nicely. So, all these shiny bits is going to make all these 
non-shiny bits <laughs> kind of stand out some more. So uh, I might have to do something about that. I think I want to get another air box as well, where I cut this off for the other bigger carb. But it was running. I mean, the engine's only up higher, so you can't really see it, but we shall see. And I'm not sure if I want to spray this white or not. I think black is the way to go for the air box. Oh, it's just going to be too much white. But we'll see. Yeah. Well, excuse the absolute mess, <laughs> as usual. But all the plastics have been painted now. So, uh, yeah, we're all nice and... This is full frozen white, I think it is. It's just a very transit colour. Transit, yes. So, uh, yeah. It's all relatively shiny. Got some... Uh, some bits are quite glossy, some bits are a bit less glossy, so you need a bit of a little buff up. And some bits I think might have missed a little bit on the uh, the lacquering, but that's all good. So, uh, I mean, especially this bit, it's gonna it's gonna get beaten to the floor. <laughs> so yeah, you can see like there, it's like missing a bit of lacquer, it's not settled properly, but that's cool. That's all good. That's gonna be on the underside, so I'm not too fast. Yeah, most things are nice and glossy. So yeah, I've had him um, smoothing the uh, holes that were in this. There was a few holes dotted around. You can see like two inside there. Uh, when I fitted the spoiler in my old, the old setup, I just had these two that were holding it, and it, it only fell off once. But that's because I, <laughs> I didn't do these up properly, and I went over a big pothole in the uh, dual carriageway. Luckily, it fell off. It was in the road for a bit, and I uh, no one drove over it. I was going to wait for it to be driven over and explode, but yeah. But so they've all been painted. What he had to do was one of these rear panels was from an earlier bike, so he had to, which have the uh, the little cutout for the cables to come through. So he's plastic welded a bit in there, and it's been uh, smoothed in there, so you wouldn't know. Oh, nice of a. Got a mark on it already. I'm just no good with anything like proper shiny. I can't keep anything nice, but it's all good. It's meant to be just a bit of fun. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, I've got to space out this exhaust a little bit more. So it's just a bit, a little bit more away from the panel here. This exhaust is just touching still. So I'm just gonna give it a little tweak, pull it outwards, so it outwards a bit, and then space it out. And then I can uh, start fitting panels and bits. Not looking forward to fitting all this mess. These are really tricky to get it sitting right and all the cables in the right place. And, uh, you know, without scratching everything when you put the put the white uh, top bit on, the long nose bit. Always seems to like catch on this front plastic bit. It's always really tricky to do. But uh, yeah, I'll try my best. What I might do as well is get, rather than this creamy colour stripe, I'm going to have to get some pure white stripes cut. So I'll get me Nate Lloyd to do that. But, oh, and also, before I put this on, I've got to swap the front mud guard over. Uh, so I've got the uh, bearings ready to go. So these, these bearings are off a slightly newer scoot. But they're, so they've got like the little race that they sit in. It's in the plastic. So the ball bearings don't go everywhere, otherwise you've got to have a load of grease and the ball bearings just seem to fly everywhere apparently. So yeah, so this is the part number for the, the bearings if you needed it. They're pretty, they're pretty cheap, they're like a tenner ago or something, so not too bad. But yeah, it's under here. So you've got this, um, it's that big nut there. You have to undo that. I'm not sure what you do about the cables coming up through it. But yeah, it looks like quite a big nut. It might be like a... 28 or something like that. I need to look at the Haynes manual and have a look. I've got it out ready. That's that one. So we'll have a little go. So yeah, that's the swap out of the uh, front mug guard, which has now been painted as well. It's pretty cool with the mesh. That was like white gel coat before anyway. But uh, so it's white, white paint now. Looking forward to getting the uh, cover on with the green fan. Should look quite smart. Just gotta to remember to keep my kids fingers away from it when it's running but yeah right fan covers on pretty cool then uh, also if the exhaust is on now what i've had to do is space out the uh bracket 
using some, I mean, some, use some old nut seats and some washers. So uh, it should, should be enough clearance now. I only want a tiny little bit just to, so it doesn't rub. It looks quite cool when it's quite nice and tight. But, um, yeah, that's all on. So the exhaust is now fully fitted, shouldn't have to come off again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it another lick of paint. It's just getting a bit tired. And with all this fresh paint, it needs a, it's quite a big part to be on show and be tatty. So I was going to need a, just a quick lick of high temp black paint. Pretty easy to do. Obviously keep this nice and shiny. And yeah, I really like this exhaust. But the main thing is how fast it is compared to the old exhaust. Like this exhaust is completely working it up. Yeah, that's loads better. So I've actually got a bit of clearance now. Spot on. That shouldn't rub at all. Shouldn't get hot enough to melt it either. Winner. And you can just see the uh, the fan in there. You can only just see it really, which is nice. It's quite cool. So I'm going to remove this uh, nut here. And what I've done is I've taken off the uh, brake cable, and uh, which is you just undo the nut, the adjusting nut here, and then you just pull it out a bit, and then it pops out of here. And I've pulled it all the way through. So this is it here, coming from the brake cable, just dangling down. And I've just pulled the uh, speedo cable just back in a bit enough so I can get the uh, socket over and just got a quick breaker bar on it it's really not done up that tightly so uh, yeah it's simpler than I thought it was going to be but if you haven't got these other bearings you have to put a sheet down and watch out for these ball bearings to go everywhere because uh, they're not in a race they're literally just loose and the grease holds them together so uh, yeah you've got to be real careful if you're doing this without the newer style bearings. So that's sorted. And you lift the uh, handlebars out of the way. And just tuck them out of the way. I've got a pair of these. These things are so handy. Really, really good. But yeah, this is the adjusting nut. Just need to grip onto there and undo. Right, so the moment you undo this bigger nut, the uh, shaft drops down. And uh, reveals reveals its balls, so uh, yeah, you can see why these are an absolute pain in the ass. You just have to use the grease to uh, put them back in the circle and hope for the best, really. But uh, that's why I've got these new bearings with the carriers in them. You can see they hold all the balls in place. So obviously Honda updated it on the next model. But you can use the, the those bearings in this one. Yeah, mucky work though. So uh, wear gloves. If you ever wondered if you can change tyres by hand, then uh, yeah, you can. It's a bit of a ball like Took me and my old man about an hour to do both of them. But that was to get the old inner tubes out and then fit the new tyres partly to it, and then tuck the inner tubes in, and then. Uh, get the other bead on but yeah the new continentals the funky tread pattern it's kind of like a cute semi slick I really like it so uh, yeah it looks so much better these wheels than the other ones the other ones were just like a just rattle can satin silver and it just always looked a bit cheap really but um yeah let's get them on so yeah even with the back one just fitted Loosely, so much better, so much better. Looks really cool already. And that's with the suspension all the way down. So, uh, once it's down, yeah, it's gonna be really cool. White wheels makes massive difference, especially having the pure white, you know, bodywork now, the pure white wheels. Nice. So I saved you a bit of faffing around, and uh, I've put all the uh, brakes on, collecting them all up. Put the uh, steering shaft in, just bolted that down lightly. Just got to tighten that up. But yeah, it's uh, both wheels are on. Really like it. It's really cool. I like the fact you can just about see the, uh, the fan cover. You can see a little bit of green in there. Yeah, it's cool. The wheels just pop more. 
and uh, I think it makes it look even lower. You can actually see how touched the wheels go. Yeah, it's really cool. So I'm just looking forward to get more and more bits on. So I got a little bit ahead of myself. I forgot that I needed to do this nut up before I put the uh, connected up the front brake part, uh, cable. So I had to take it back out and put a socket on it and get the breaker bar, well, get the torque setting right on it. So uh, what I've also seen in Japan, there was a bike, had a similar sort of white theme, but the it had white brake and speedo cables. So I was like, oh. So I zoomed in and all it was was a uh, white electrical tape just wrapped around the, uh, wrapped around the cable to change, change the colour. So obviously painting these is in you know, no chance because it's rubber and it's flexible and it all moves around with suspension. But we'll see what white electrical tape will do actually. Might be quite funky. I'll leave it black in here so you can't see it in the grill. And then as soon as it reaches like down here, we'll do it white. And uh, I can always peel it off if it looks crap, but we'll have a go. There we go. Yeah, it looks quite cool. Debating whether to spray this bit white and then possibly putting the covers back on this one have that white as well but yeah don't look too bad the distance they do just look white we'll see how they fare on the road might get dirty and look a bit tatty but yeah we'll see how we go this front panel is now on so that's all on got me lucky coin there's a washer on there and um, yeah, and I've finally got the, the long nose on with all this kit in, all this bit on. This is actually my my most hated bit of the whole bike, trying to fanny around with this headset and this uh, peak and the headlight and the cluster and the controls and stuff. You can sort all the wiring so it all squeezes in all right. Absolute pain in the ass. It seems to be that the uh, long nose kit is just pulling up a little bit. I'm not often. Make a little bracket or something just to pull that down. Not sure yet, but we'll see. But yeah, it's cool. That's good. What I like is that it covers the top of the indicator, so it makes them look slimmer. So, yeah, we're looking good. Also, I've got the uh, wing on, so that's pretty cool. Just had to like sand the inside edge a little bit, stop it being too tight, and uh, use the couple of bolts on top. It originally had uh, little holes all the way, like one here, one here, two in here. You can kind of just about see where they were, kind of. But um, on my old spoiler, I never used, never used them. Uh, it only fell off once, and that's because <laughs> I didn't do the nuts up tight enough. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely solid on there. So I mean, it, it'll probably stay on there even with it just push fit. But these just secure it on, make sure it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's a really nice fit, this spoiler. Just connects with this body line and runs up. Yeah, it's nice. Gotta find some uh, more high temp paint for this, because it's looking a bit, with all this shininess and new paint and stuff, this is looking a little bit tired. I don't mind this having a little bit of age to it. I don't want that super shiny. But yeah, this definitely needs a little paint up. And um, with these grips, uh, these were the red ones, and I just had a little bit of leftover paint, vinyl paint. I just thought, oh, I wonder if it paint the rubber. It has actually stuck, and it's, it seems to be hard wearing ish. Oh, it's coming off my hands, but they look they're crap. I didn't really like them, so I did buy these ones on eBay and check out the color match. <laughs> so it's very, very close. They're actually really nice to squeeze, but obviously, I won't, I'd always be wearing gloves anyway on this, but yeah. They're quite simple, quite nice. So I have got some Kiss Racing ones coming from Japan that I spent a little bit of money on. They're like vintage, but they're they're a little bit more green, a little light green than these. I actually, I actually really like these. These are cool. And just the colour match. Couldn't be better, really. So I've just parked it up to see what the uh, belly pan's going to look like once it's on there. Should fit quite nicely once I've got it sat exactly where I want it. So I think I'm gonna possibly glue this end and then I'll nut and bolt this end. 
probably just done on here to pull this pull that bit in make it a little bit tighter man yeah looks so good really happy with it just a few more little touches to do and then we're golden all right belly pan is now fitted so what i did rather than seeing any fixings from the side but last time i glued it to here which meant it wasn't removable from this bit which is a bit silly but so this time i've just bolted here in the corner probably just paint this uh screw head uh, bolt head and uh, so make it more invisible so that one's on did the same the other side it's all tucked in quite nicely and then the middle i just used like a lip bracket and uh just like a little L bracket knocked it flat slightly and uh bolted it and then i screwed it in with a like a self-tapping metal drill bit uh metal screw sorry it's actually it's pulled the fiberglass a little bit so i've got to be got to watch that careful of it because uh, i don't want it to flex anymore and then because it's going to be hitting the ground a lot so we just have to keep an eye on it but yeah yeah awesome looks so tidy really want to keep it this clean so i might actually have to get a cover for it oh and uh you haven't seen before is the uh Napoleon mirror. So, yeah. Sweet. So, we have dots. So, I got my mate Lloyd to print me off some uh, dots out of vinyl. So, they're about 8mm <coughs> diameter, about 30mm apart. Um, yeah, that's the task in hand to try and <laughs> get these all over this. I did get them to, you know, cut them with the distance already in place, so I just need to put them on, but there's going to be a bit of jiggering and pokering around, moving little dots here and there, but I'll try and use the masking to keep it, like, correct for the spacing. Should make it a little bit easier in places, but yeah, let's give it a go. So, first little bit on. <laughs> it looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, pleased with it. Just got to keep it going now. Bit of a tic tac vibe going on, but <laughs> yeah, it should be really cool. I'm quite happy with the uh, dot size and the spacing. It should work well. Well, one side done. Well chuffed for that. Looks really good. Managed to get all the dots kind of uniform spacing. Last time the, the spoiler was quite hard to do. But I think I've got it down this time. I didn't want to go too many where it gets too close here. But yeah. Awesome. So I've done the mud guard on the front. I've done under here as well, because in some of the pictures you could see there were no dots underneath. Yeah. <laughs> Looks really good. I think I've got the uh the dot sizing just right really. Any bigger and it would look a bit weird. The Krispy Kreme dots are quite actually quite small when you look at the packet. I think I could have done maybe a 7mm dot, but no, it's good. I'll stick with that. Awesome. There she is outside. That's looking cool. So now I've got to, uh, I've got these uh, strips. Let me see if it focuses. These strips of vinyl. They're just going to go over, over the lights, just to make them blend in a little bit better. They're on this side. I'm not sure about going all the way down to the end. Looks a bit weird, looks a bit unfinished. So I think I'm just going to take it just up to this black bit here. Same as what I did last time. Doesn't look too bad, but I don't know, it just looks a bit weird at the end there. There we go, that's better. Yeah, it didn't need to go all the way down the end. It's got these little black caps that finish it off. Nice. That's it. Both done. That's it. Peel the back enough. Start here. That's it. 
Very good. Very good. Yay! Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye. So finally, my uh, basket has been powder coated. Apparently, it was a right pain in the ass to get all the uh, pasta-sized paint off, but it's come out really nice. Nice finish on it, and uh, yeah, everything's covered. So it looks a lot fresher. Still unsure if I'm going to run it or not, because uh, but it would be cool to have some donuts in the front. <laughs> it's a bit, yeah, maybe from a distance it look better. I'm not too sure. But, uh, definitely want to either do the Honda sticker again in green, or I do a little Krispy Kreme, or just saying the word donuts or something. Yeah, it's a nice little option to have. It's quite a rare little piece. There's not many of these about, and they normally go for decent money on the auctions. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. So, I've been busy tonight, just messing around with a little bit of paint, and uh, I've painted these uh, front strut supports so they look loads better in white so yeah, I'm debating whether to get the covers for these and paint those white as well because they're a bit uh, odd now just in silver but it's not too bad you can see got silver mesh in that and what else have I done oh I just painted like the uh, the bolts and the ends just match those and I did respray the exhaust it's still wet in that little spot there, but uh, yeah, it's tidied up loads, so it's just dry, it's kind of satin black, so it's quite nice. Just freshens it up a little bit, makes it all look a bit more kind of together, and uh, yeah, awesome. Just waiting now for the uh, decals, the stickers, kind of Krispy Kreme on the front here. And then Krispy Kreme down the side and on the basket. I've got a few different logos. I've got a Honda in green, same green as the dots, and then a, a Krispy Kreme just in a, in the actual, you know, English rather than the katakana on the Lego that I've designed on the side here and the front. So here we are. Yeah, it's coming together now. Just need to take it out, get some miles on it. Yeah, keen. Picked up the stickers from my buddy Lloyd. So he does all my all my sticker needs with the vinyl. So he did all the dots for the bike and all that. And he did all the coat livery last time. So we got some stickers for the, the basket. So I've either got just the standard Honda sticker, just in the Krispy Kreme green. Or we've got the uh, Krispy Kreme logo, just in uh, English rather than the Katakana. So I've got these two different sizes just to see what looks better. But we got the so I did redid it in katakana just to give it that kind of Japanese feel. So yeah, Krispy Kreme is the uh, delivery. If you hadn't guessed already, it's not Tic Tacs or nothing. And so I did run this cup holder that was on the uh, Coca-Cola scoop. And what you can do, you can pop this off, take the uh, Take the clear bit off and actually get the sticker out, and uh, so I'm just going to replace it with that. So, so it should all match then. And I've got some more dots because I've not quite finished it. It's just there's only a couple on the other side that I haven't done. So and just some, so it needs a few more under here as well, just to join that bit up. And uh, this side of the fender. So yeah, almost did it. Just needs to do the underside of the lower cow. And, uh, yeah, nearly there. It's on the home straight now. So, oops, going up there. Bit of wetness. Yeah, this exhaust came out really nice. So it's repainted a VHT. Very high temp black paint. So it looks a lot nicer. It's quite nice. It smoothed it out a bit more. And uh, just giving it that satin finish. Cup holder, sorted. Seen better days, it's a bit battered. <laughs> I always had to repair it with fiberglass where it snapped off. But yeah, Krispy Kreme, sorted.
we'll say. Looks really good with the Lego on. It's kind of meant to be. Yeah, it looks smart. So maybe one, if it's too much, too many Legos, I run the Honda. But for the moment, pretty good. Basket installed. <laughs> it is quite cool. I'm still in two minds, but it does mask that front logo a bit more. Because I'm not overly keen on the front logo. Possibly, I think about taking it off. Just have the side logos. But yeah, it does look quite cool. One thing though, I do need to lengthen the uh, the bolts because it, it just sits on top and uh, they don't poke far enough through, so that's annoying. <laughs> but yeah, it's on there. Yeah, it's quite cool. It'll take a chance of the basket. I think it'd have to be white. I don't think I think a green would be too much. It would stick out too much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's to make people smile, and it makes me smile, so it's all worth it. It's great fun. Two minds whether to keep this logo on the front or not. I did kind of prefer it just being dots. Looks a bit kind of awkward in the front. Not too sure about that one, so. I might make that one a bit cleaner. And for some reason, the uh, fine one does not want to stick. <laughs> it's gone all, hasn't stuck at all. So, a bit strange. I have had the buddy <laughs> tumble dry going because it is uh, what, uh, mid October. But I've got the uh, cup holder on. Don't want to pause every time I say cup holder. But yeah, it's on. So, that's pretty cool. Not sure if it needs it or not. It's kind of, I was going to say the only black bit, but there are a few little black, you know, obviously the tyres, these bits here, and the exhaust. So there are some black bits on it. It is quite handy actually to have that. I uh, do keep a few little bits in it. Now and again. But yeah, pretty cool. This is episode six. So you're going to see a little more, 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 more,